Yes, indeed, is rocking what I would call Intel Evo stickers. Yeah, that might have been a bit too dramatic, so we'll come back to that. Yep, I know exactly what you're thinking. There's a new face on the channel, which might seem strange, but trust me, it's nowhere near as strange and as interesting for me since using this lovely HP Spectre X360 convertible Evo powered laptop. Whew, let me catch my breath, that was a mouthful. So yeah, hi, my name is Ben. Of course, nice to meet you all. When first I was told about getting hands-on with this laptop, I had zero expectations because look, although I know HP for their laptops in general, I've never actually had a chance to use any of their laptops, let alone one that can pretty much bend backwards on itself without breaking in half, as you can see, much like an Olympic gymnast. Weird analogy, but that's the only thing that kind of came to mind in that moment. So yeah, let's not waste much time. This is the HP Spectre. X360. Now to state this from the jump, this is not a review as such, but more of a general overview of this, might I say, premium compact laptop. I will share my overall user experience, especially for how unique this laptop is, but let's get that out of the way and let's pretty much get into it. Let's start from the outside and work our way in with the design and the build quality of the X360. Now remember, as I stated at the start with having no expectations of what this laptop would be like, my first impressions when unboxing and setting up the Spectre X360 is, one, it's cold to the touch and it feels like a well put together piece of kit. Now in terms of the product design and the materials, this is made of what HP are calling a sandblasted anodized aluminium finish yes aluminium finish and check the name of the color this is not just silver oh no my friends this is natural silver natural silver now i wonder what they would consider on natural silver as a color or what would that even look like or maybe that's just the color gray um look i digress let's come back to it the design is solid it feels well balanced with the chamfered cut edges all around with a slope tapered design which really sells that premium solid feel of the X360. Now for a premium thin and light 14 inch laptop, it's not lacking in the ports department either. When it comes to it, it really is packing it in this thin and light package. Now, you do have two Thunderbolt generation four ports, which are also USB generation four compliant in the form of a USB connection, which then also supports power delivery charging up to 65 watts, which does come included in this very lovely braided cable charger. There is also a 3.5 millimeter combo port and also for your audio, a micro SD card and who'd have thought it, a single USB-A port as well. Man, I'm kind of mightily impressed with this. Now, when it comes to the display, we are looking at a glorious 13.5 inch screen with a 3000 by 2000, 3K by 2K resolution display with a nice 400 nits of brightness. For the display colorists and the buffs out there, it does indeed cover 100% of the DCI P3 color space. Yep, it does. See, these numbers are all well and good, but the glorious part of the display experience is the multi-touch functionality and the use of an organic light emitted diode display or in simpler terms an OLED display. Now OLED displays have been on laptops for some time now especially when it comes to the ultra premium high-end side of things but this is the first laptop for me personally that I've had the pleasure of using with an OLED screen for the technology which you'll find on more expensive TVs and I mean really expensive TVs. I mean it's gonna cost you a kidney type of money here really expensive TVs. So to see it here on a premium laptop is really refreshing and it's great when it comes to the display efficiency, high contrast ratio, deep blacks with vibrant accurate colors for excellent viewing angles and experience. Now speaking of the multi-touch, this is when you get the included stylus pen. And now this is an active pen and with what HP are calling their MPP 2.0 tilt pen. No idea what the MPP stands for, but yeah, that's in the name, meaning that it does have a built-in battery and it does need to be charged over USB-C to work. 
After that, it works great, especially for the two-in-one transformer nature of the X360 with this 360 geared hinge, as you can see, which then allows you to go from full tablet mode into either horizontal or vertical orientation, reverse position, and even tent mode. Look at that, tent mode. It's pretty much going camping. Okay, let me come back to it. Now, continuing with the flexibility of the Spectre X360, let's look at some of the use cases for the laptop in relation to the Windows 10 user experience. Now, one of the most useful and enjoyable ways of using the X360 has been with the apps that are natively built into the Microsoft 365 family, like Microsoft Word, in full tablet mode. This intelligently disables the keyboard from any input. Nice touch, see, no input. And it's great because the gyro accelerators and the software support built into Windows 10, the display can also rotate into the correct orientation based on how you're holding it in landscape or vertical mode. Now using the handwriting to text conversion was my favorite, giving me that near enough traditional feeling of handwriting, but without the drawbacks of having to deal with my own personally poor looking handwriting, which trust me, my handwriting is not the best, so you don't wanna see the look of it. So with how will it convert accurately tracking handwriting to text, as a first time user, having this experience with both the touch as well as the pen input on this really high quality display, made using this feature such an easy, natural, and most importantly, very intuitive experience. And yeah, another discovery was using the action pen mode when it came to the draw section. For reason, I brought in my inner child and that was something that really transformed how you use the pen into what felt like a low key magic wand. I have the power. It was just fun being able to use the ink gestures to delete words just by scribbling over them, circling around words to actually select them as well as sentences, and also adding new lines, splitting words, joining words, and even inserting words into sentences in between them. It was just a lot of fun having to use the action pen mode. More fun than I actually thought. Maybe I just don't have enough fun. I don't know. Now, when it comes to the audio quality, the speakers and the audio are by Bank and Olufsen, tuned and optimized with quad speakers and with HP's audio boost for even more finer tuning. After watching videos, man, for watching videos on here and listening to music in general, especially for a thin and light laptop, I really found it to be a good experience. Let's move over to the keyboard and the trackpad. Looking at both, it's fully backlit, still following that natural silver color trend with large keys and good travel and also good feedback when typing. A nice little Easter egg to the addition of the keyboard is at the bottom right, right next to the Alt GR key is a completely flush fingerprint scanner for biometric unlock and support for Windows Hello, which then also leads to the front facing 720p HD camera with IR sensors that also support Windows Hello face unlock. Nice touch. The trackpad is using precision drivers, which I found the size of it to actually be really nice, especially for a 14 inch laptop like this. This really feels premium using HP's image pad glass surface with multi-touch gesture support. It basically took no time to get used to the keyboard and the trackpad, which were very nice indeed. Next is one of my favorite parts of any tech, especially laptops, is the specs of the performance. And the Spectre X360 is very telling for good reason. Yes, indeed, it's rocking what I would call the badge of premium honor powered by Intel Evo stickers. Yeah, that might have been a bit too dramatic, so we'll come back to that. Breaking it down, the Spectre X360 is powered by Intel's latest 11th gen Core i7 1165G7 based on a quad core design, which can boost up to 4.7 gigahertz, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of internal SSD storage, and the graphics is powered by the onboard Intel XE graphics. Yes. Again, this is an overview, so there won't be any crazy benchmarks screaming this laptop to his knees, but I did find that with how I used it, with the limited time that I had with it, the performance was more than plenty enough to do what I needed it to do. Again, for a laptop to have this premium badge of honor that is Intel Evo powered, it does need to tick a lot of required boxes to give the best Windows premium experience, which this laptop pretty much does. And again, when you look at the wireless connectivity wise, it does support Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 as well. Now, battery-wise, it is powered by a four-cell 66-watt-hour battery, which, as stated before, does support power delivery charging at 65 watts over USB-C connection, which I am a big fan of. 
USB-C, all the things, which does actually support fast charging from zero to 50% in approximately 45 minutes. It is rated for an overall battery of 11 hours and 15 minutes, but do consider the individual user experience when it comes to battery and usage will vary, which could be potentially less or more give or take what you're doing, your screen settings and your power settings. Now for the conclusion and usability, and I am wondering, who is this HP Spectre X364? And I think for the limited time I've had it, this is for the person who wants a versatile yet premium, up-to-date laptop experience in a portable, thin and light package. Now the obvious would be someone like a graphic designer or a photographer because the multi-touch, high-resolution OLED display, the HP Tilt Pen, Intel Evo powered and the two-in-one switcheroo nature of the X360 with that 360 degree hinge design, I think it cuts across the board for the use case for such a person. Now with the premium nature of the laptop within this current climate of working and learning from home, this laptop could be the device that also allows you to have the complete true all-in-one experience for both working and creative learning in an environment especially at home and anywhere. Even when you're traveling, the thin and light package, you get all that power with you on the go and it pretty much fits anywhere easily. And that covers it for this overview of the HP Spectre X360. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you all enjoyed this overview. This is Ben from Expert Zone All Things Microsoft and I will see you next time.